journey of my life is that I didn't tell anybody I was even given that I was going to even try that area. I didn't want my mother to know because then Billy Wilder would say I'm the biggest idiot and my mother was going to say, what are you doing? And needless to say, I didn't really share that with many people. But the coolest thing of all is that I didn't want anyone to know in case I, I didn't want to lose my day job as a choreographer. And I secretly would go to the Fox, I'd, I'd, I'd go in the morning at 7 a.m. To, to table reads for, for Tracy Ullman's show. I'd leave my assistant, not my sister then, she went on to become a nurse. Um, I'd, le I'd have an assistant, I'd leave at 1.30, I'd go to Warner Brothers Studios and I'd be choreographing George Michael's tour, the Faith tour, and then I'd go over two sound stages and I was working with Janet Jackson at the time. And then I'd go secretly in a recording studio at midnight and I'd record till like five in the morning and then I'd park my car at Fox and sleep for two hours. And that's what I would do every day. And it was incredible. And, and that's, those were the good old days when you just love, love, love to work and not sleep at all. <laughs> and it was fantastic. But I, I had, I, through what happened was my album secretly came out and nobody knew. And um, I remember we were getting ready to gear up for a hiatus on the Tracy Ullman show. And it was right before Thanksgiving. And um, then we had to come back after Thanksgiving, work one more week, and then, then the whole industry shuts down for Christmas. And I remember Jim Brooks was going to visit his family in Northern California. And when we came back from that first hiatus, I remember him walking by. I said, how is, the, how is your family, seeing your family? And his response was, same circus, couple different clowns. <laughs> Sounds like my family. And he, kept, and he kept walking, and I'm laughing, and he kept walking, and he goes, and by the way, I swear to God, there, there's a girl that has your name, I think, that I kept hearing on the radio. Oh. That is how I found out my song was playing on the radio, straight up. <laughs> I, I swear to God, that's how I found out. That's why, that is just so weird. And literally, I remember calling my record label and they were screaming, you have a hit. And it was a song that, that my mother found me. Yeah. Uh, my mother found Straight Up. <laughs> my mother. And the record, the record label, ne they said, no, don't hear it at all. That is not a hit. And trust me, if you would have heard the demo, it was my, my, my mother's assistant who worked for Billy Wilder, a, a real sweet girl named Loreen. Her, she, when she found out, because my mother said, my daughter, I don't understand it. She's going to make a record. And this girl, Lorraine, goes, well, my boyfriend's an aspiring songwriter. And my mom said, who is he written for? Nobody. <laughs> but but he's, he's different. He's really good. And so I remember my mother calling me up. I, every Thursday night, I'd go over to have rice aroni and chicken at my mom's house. <laughs> and she, she said, you got to come over. I don't know what I'm going to tell Lorraine tomorrow when I see her in the office. But she gave me a demo from her boyfriend. She goes, honey, I was crying laughing so hard. It's so bad. <laughs> and I came over and she played it for me and we were laughing and she threw it into the trash and I retrieved it out of the trash. It was horrible sounding. It was, it was an eight track demo that you could hear plunking on a computer and some guy singing completely off key, completely. And it was awful, but there was something there. And my mom said, <laughs> Good luck trying to convince anyone that, uh, she goes, I don't know what daughter I produce because that's, that's crap. <laughs> and um, I said, well, maybe I can demo it. There's no time. I, I went in, I, I, I bartered deals with the record label. I said, look, you're going to laugh at this, but I will record two songs that you want me to record, even though I don't want to, if you let me do straight up. And um, they, they, they listened to it and they said, yeah, okay, sure. Well, we'll, we'll pay... Uh, $3,000 for the entire recording cost song. Uh, that's $3,000 to this unknown person for just to humor you. And I recorded that song in a studio apartment in his shower. And in the master recordings, swear to God, you can hear from the apartment next door banging, shut up. <laughs> and it was never removed from the master recording. It's the truth. And, and, that the, uh, and that is the song that was the first song that the station in Northern California, a pop station, which is called a P1 station called KMEL, they started playing straight up every half hour. 
and their sister station, Z100 in New York. And literally, in 10 days, I sold a million copies. <laughs> 